what's up guys so today i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make better edits i guess okay so some of these things are gonna be like really important and some of these are gonna be like not so important so okay so the first tip is to add extra effects so what i mean by this is kind of like not it looking so basic so some of my edits look really basic <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie but i noticed that like the more like effects that you add but not too much like don't overdo it the more like interesting it looks i'm gonna show you how to mask a picture okay so first you're gonna click the layer and they're gonna duplicate it Control d and now we're gonna mask this top one not the bottom one the top one and then we're gonna do our pen tool and then we're going to mask around her okay so once we add the like mask what you're gonna do is click the bottom layer now gonna go to effects and presets and we're gonna search for tint then we're gonna drag it onto the bottom clip then we're gonna change the tint light to whatever color you want I think I'm gonna do like her hair color so once you have that you're gonna have the orange background but then you're gonna go back to the top layer and then you're gonna go click this thing right here and then you're gonna go to mask then you're gonna do this then you're gonna um, put the feather up some so then it'll be like not so harsh if you know what I mean if I did like the mask kind of like more perfect it would have looked better but I was too lazy so but the picture is gonna be moving so they won't really like look look for real okay second tip is adding motion blur it actually like makes your edits better and I've said this a lot in my videos um I'm gonna show you what it looks like without motion blur and with motion blur so this is without motion blur it's giving cap cut <laughs> now this is motion blur turned on Slay! You see, it's so much better. Okay, but anyways, next tip I would say is overlapping your like graphs. So I suggest like using no layers and like what I mean by overlapping them is no layers. So if you go into the keyframes, they like overlap. So um it kind of looks a mess right now. Yeah, they overlap and it's so the edit keeps on moving. So and then another thing I would say is using mid graphs. So the first part was a graph like this right here. So if we zoom in, we can see that graph right there. I used a value graph for this part, like that part right there. But then once I go into this part right here, you can see I used a mid graph. So yeah, mid graphs look like that. If you look at the value graph, it looks like this. Um, I don't know why it looks like that, but um, don't mind that. Okay, so the next tip is adding extra effects. So what I mean by this is pre-composing everything. Pre-compose. If you duplicate the layer and then you search for deep glow and you add it to the bottom one, it'll add like the glow in the background. Yeah. Okay, so what you want to do is duplicate the layer. So control D, go to the bottom one and then you're going to add the CC Y time. Then you're going to put forward steps to zero and then you're going to put backward step to like eight to change native motion blur to on all right and then once you watch it back it kind of gives you that like trail effect oh my gosh it's so good it's a cool little effect all right the next effect i would say to add is bcc led you'll need bcc for this one so you add it to the bottom layer again after you've duplicated it wait for it to load once it's loaded you're going to change the led size to one and then we're going to change LED gap X to zero. You can do anything you want for real. Once you do that, we're going to add some deep glow to the BCC to like give it that like better look, I guess. Once that's added, it looks like this. So, oh, and then another tip is if you have a 3D like transition edit, make sure you add a light. I mean, you don't have to add it for real, but I know for sure like it gives you that like more cinematic look, I guess, but like it's way better parallel intensity you can do whatever you want i don't know it just looks like better okay so another thing i do is kind of like do that like i forgot what it's called but i'll show you so you hold shift select all of them pre-compose okay and then you're gonna duplicate it and then we're gonna zoom this in so zoom in like that and they're gonna press t they're gonna change the opacity to like 20 and then we're gonna go to layer then you're gonna press transform flip horizontally or you could do vertically so yeah okay so another thing to make your edits better is shakes so I really like I don't use a lot of shakes 
because it makes my edit stiff. Like in this case, it kind of makes my edit stiff. <laughs> I do mostly skew shakes and warp shakes, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. So if you guys wanted to copy it, you can. The first keyframe is zero. And then once you go forward three frames, it's negative 45. And then the, when you go forward seven frames, it's going to be at 20. Then when you go forward nine frames, it's going to be negative 18. And then you could go like forward however many you want. But about there, it's going to go back to zero. So then, yeah, you have your warp thing shake. The final thing I would say is just practice because practice leads to you know more perfection like there's not a perfect edit of course but yeah if you practice you'll get better promise but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video um if you have any more suggestions comment them down below have a wonderful day love you guys and see you in the next video